Greetings, subscribers! So there's been recent word that actor Michael Keaton will once again play Batman in the upcoming Flashpoint movie, which will be about Ezra Miller's Flash character from the Justice League movie, and will be directed by Andy Muschietti, best known for the recent Stephen King's It movies. Anyway, if you're not familiar with the Flashpoint story in the comics, it involves altering the timelines of history. One change is that instead of Bruce Wayne watching both his parents get killed, Bruce himself gets killed, along with his mother, and Bruce's father Thomas Wayne is the survivor who goes on to become Batman. A much older Batman. So how would that work here? Well, it would seem obvious. Michael Keaton will play Thomas Wayne, father of Ben Affleck's character from Batman vs Superman and the Justice League movie, right? Except they'd be forgetting that we saw the character of Thomas Wayne in Batman vs Superman, and he was played by a different actor, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Hence, he looked completely different than Michael Keaton. Also, if Michael Keaton played Bruce Wayne's Batman in two movies from the late 80s, early 90s, and now played Thomas Wayne's Batman not in continuity with the Bruce Wayne Batman here he played, then wouldn't that confuse people? Well, I'm now hearing new rumors that WB wants to make things even more confusing. They want to make a major change from the Flashpoint story to say Flash meets an older Bruce Wayne, who is still Batman, in direct continuity with the Tim Burton movies. Okay, well, how would that even work? Would they change the story to say Flash traveled to a different Earth as opposed to an alternate timeline of his own Earth? That seems like a little too big a change from the Flashpoint comics, if you ask me. So, honestly, I think the writers would have a hard time pulling this off right. I personally would not want to have this job. Well, actually, I would love to have this job. If WB wanted to pay me to talk to other comic fans, brainstorm, and just discuss our ideas until we come up with something that sounds good to all of us, I would love to take that job. So WB, if you're watching this, please feel free to contact me. But in all seriousness, I do have faith that professional writers who are passionate about the story and hired to work full time on finding the right way to pull it off could come up with something good. And while in another video I've already admitted that Michael Keaton's two Batman movies do not hold up well with time for me, I will say that Michael Keaton's performance was never the problem. So in short, would I like to see WB give this idea a shot? Yes, I would. I'd also like to add that for those who saw CW's recent giant crossover, Crisis on Infinite Earths, we saw Ezra Miller's Flash meet Grant Gustin's and Robert Wool reprise his role as Alexander Knox. So, the writers of this upcoming movie could even find a way to bring that into the storyline. They could show us Ezra Miller's Flash going to alternate Earths, and actually reuse the scene we already saw from Christ on Infinite Earths of Ezra Miller and Grant Gustin meeting, only this time showing how Miller got there instead of how Gustin got there. Also, they could bring back actor Robert Wool and even explain more about what was going on with him in that brief moment we saw him in Christ on Infinite Earths. So in short, my feeling is, it would take hard work from passionate writers, but there is the potential for something great here. So I say, go for it. That's my opinion, but as always, I'd like to hear some feedback from you viewers. Do you agree with me? Disagree? Or do you have other ideas you'd like to share? Please leave it all in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of my videos, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. I would love to have you. Thank you.